How do you how do you utilize your strengths mm-hmm. to accomplish what you want? Mm-hmm. Recognizing your weakness and then finding somebody to add to your team that is strong where you are weak, yep. male or female. And then you get the greatest results. It's fantastic. That came out. What year did that did Think and Grow Rich for Women come out? Oh my goodness, you're challenging me. I think 2015. All right. 2014. 2014. <laughs> I, I have my secret weapon over your shoulder. She is amazing. <laughs> she is. Angela is incredible. incredible. <laughs> so 2014. <laughs> and since 2014, what is the, the impetus for this next chapter or next book, I guess you could say, for uh, Exit Rich? Well, there's been things between Think and Grow Rich for Women. Right. And- I did Success and Something Greater, again, okay. with Greg Reed, my co-author, Three Feet from Gold. That came out after Think and Grow Rich for Women. And then now Exit Rich is number 26. It's been around a long time. 26. But, and the reason I did Exit Rich is I have a friend who's a mentor to Michelle Seller Tucker, who's my co-author. Mm-hmm. And she, ha- she has the largest um, female-owned business brokerage in the country. And she's a mergers and acquisitions specialist. Mm-hmm. So she has sold and helped companies buy thousands of businesses. So she has an incredible knowledge, depth of knowledge. And so the book has... Her tactical, very, this is what you do. Mm-hmm. And my part is- The six Ps. Yes, the six You guys P's. have to read the six Ps. The six Ps are important. You need yes. to get the book and read the six Ps. Oh, I can even do a real high-level oh. discussion about the six Ps. But my participation was really to go in-depth because we don't agree on everything, which and we share that in the book, mm-hmm. but is to sh- look at it from a mentor's perspective. And as a, an investor, mm-hmm. this book is a great tool for somebody who wants to invest in a company. You look at that company through the eyes of the six Ps, yep. and it helps you analyze how strong their structure is, how strong their viability is, how strong their intellectual property is. Mm-hmm. And the six Ps, you want me to run through them? I would love that. I think, don't you guys want this? I know you guys want this. <laughs> so the six Ps start with people. Do you have the right people on your team? Do you have people who are strong where you are weak? Do you have the right mentor? Do you have the advisors who help you? Because that power of association is so important. And then beyond people, you have your product. What are you buying? What are you selling? Is it a hard product or is it a service product? And then processes, business systems. My favorite word. That's what creates a scalable business. Processes, business systems. And what happens is most people try to do everything on their own, mm-hmm. and they don't take the time to build those systems. So I compare a viable business to a house. You have to go down first, and you have to put in plumbing, electric, so that that, that house will be standing and strong. Same thing in a business. You need to create those systems that will allow you to take your successful business, mm-hmm. make it sustainable, scalable, and saleable. Yep. And so processes are very important. Business systems are really important. Systems is kind of like my second or third most favorite word. Assets, royalties, oh. leverage, systems. Systems Probably number four. Order. Okay. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> four very important. You yeah. guys are, I hope you're taking notes as fast as I am because this is um, a lot happening at one time. People, product, process. And then proprietary. proprietary. That's your intellectual property. That's that intangible value that's not book value. Mm-hmm. It's what they call goodwill when you sell a company. And that has to do with your competitive advantage. It has to do with your goodwill, the, the reputation. Mm-hmm. And, of course, the intrinsic value of your logo, your your look and feel. But it's also how what sets you apart, what, what gives you a unique selling proposition and what have you created that no one else has? Mm. And so that proprietary um, information is your intellectual property. And we want to help you identify it, protect it, and leverage it. Mm. And that what it really gives you incredible valuation. 40 years ago, Fortune 500 companies were 85% bricks and mortar, mm-hmm. 15% intangible assets. Mm-hmm. Today it's flipped. Wow. Less, in fact, it's closer to 87, 88 percent, and Fortune 500 is intangible with a very small percent bricks and mortar. And so it helps us level the playing field because that allows us to compete better yeah. when we're competing with knowledge, uh-huh. not buildings. Right. And so it's such an exciting time for us in so business. So empowering. 
because yeah. you don't have to be able to have the capital to purchase a building or to go into that like your 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 ability to read a book, your ability yeah. to learn skills and create something yeah, is think, what's think valuable. Airbnb, one of the top hospitality, they own no hotels. Yeah, Air, you know, Uber, one of the top transportation companies, they own no cars. Yep. So that's it's all intangible and the goodwill that they've built. Mm -hmm. And then the fifth P is patrons, and that's your your database. And today, one of the huge biggest mistakes people are making, mm -hmm. right? The, the benefit is through marketing, they're getting these huge reach, mm -hmm. lead generation through Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok, and probably a few more that I'm too old to remember. You got them all that I use. <laughs> <laughs> but so you've got these huge um, lead generations uh -huh. and people stop there, but you don't own those names. Mm -hmm. You can get turned off. Mm -hmm. You're not in control of that. Mm -hmm. So you want to entice them. You want to invite them home. And get them to come to your database through giving a free gift, um, through connections. Mm -hmm. And what happens is when you send a message on Facebook, who controls whether they get it? Facebook. Facebook. Your ability you. to spend money on ads so yes. that you can get visibility. Yes. But when you have a database mm -hmm. and you send a message, they all get it now. Whether they open it or not, that's part of your marketing as yes. well. But you have the ability to communicate with them. And many businesses sell based on the value of the database. Mm. A competitor wants to buy you not because of how you do your business, but they want your customers. Mm -hmm. So it's really important to build your database. And then the sixth P is profit. Now, most people only focus on product and profit, which is why they'll never be able to sell. Yep. Because they're not focusing on building the processes. Mm -hmm. They're not focusing on the proprietary or on the patrons. Mm -hmm. And it's hugely important. If you want a true business, if you want to own a business, not own a job, mm -hmm. you will build a business based on the six Ps. Mm -hmm. And that's taking your successful business, making it through systems, <laughs> sustainable, scalable, and saleable. It's incredible. Do you find that when you have worked with people that anybody is good at all six of those things? Like I'm just thinking with even, you know, our own business, there are people who are great at certain aspects of it. And one entrepreneur has to determine, well, I, I want your perspective. I, I, what, do you determine which pieces that you are going to be responsible for? Do you have to learn all of them in order to be great? How would you advise that people? That takes you right back to P number one, mm -hmm. people. You want, business is a team sport. Mm -hmm. You have to have the right people on your team. And believe me, I don't want to be responsible for learning how to do digital marketing. Right. That would not be a good plan. No. All right? I want 20-year-olds to mm -hmm. do that. Yes. So as an entrepreneur, sometimes we have to get out of our own way. Mm -hmm. We have to bring in the talent and the expertise with people that are strong where you are weak. Mm -hmm. And so, no, one, you're, you're never going to have a true business if you try to do everything yourself. Mm -hmm. 